new window treatments, then, I mean, we ought to recover maybe one of these chairs and get a new rug, and get a new lighting. I, that would make such a difference. Oh, I guess it's just too much. Now, don't worry. Holly is just fine. Don't worry. This is a former award-winning publisher who's turned into a Donna Reed wannabe faster than Father Knows Best can read the oh, paper. Oh, you're wrong. No, I am not wrong, Barbara. She has redone my closets twice. She has organized all of my clothes into outfits. Now, I don't... Guys don't wear outfits unless they're French. <laughs> I want you to know something. You are overreacting, No, I am not overreacting, Barbara. We just redecorated. Well, just last fall. I mean, what is next? Are we going to carpet the garage? <laughs> Oh, a suite in the most expensive hotel in all of Los Angeles. Oh, Hawk, you had better have the goods on Amanda or I will kill you. Since I'm paying for the room, I might as well use it. <laughs> now, mind you, I am not producing your ordinary run-of-the-mill women's prison movie. No, sir. This one takes place during... Mm. Uh-oh. Uh, excuse me, ladies, I've got to go smooth my backer. <laughs> Queenie, baby! Oh, you are looking... Oh, fab to the max. You're mm. looking at 10 to 20 for fraud once I have you convicted. For impersonation a producer? Might as well lock up half his town. All right, brother, that's enough, Hawk, that's enough. You were fired. Even if I got the goods on your naughty niece, Amanda? Oh, I can't wait to see Alex's face when they finally confirm that I am executive vice president. <laughs> and to think that a year ago I was languishing in California. And now, thanks to you, I have a new life, free of fear and full of possibilities. You are absolutely the best father. Hey, you haven't heard a word I've said. I'm sorry, Amanda, my uh, mind seems to have wandered. Mm -hmm. To Reva Shane. Uh, uh, uh. We promise not to mention Ross or Reva's name again, remember? Well, I still want you to be happy, and you're obviously not. What's she done now? Well, I don't know where she is or what she's up to. And with Reva, that means one thing. Hope for the best, but expect the worst. What did you say? I said, take your hands off my wife. Am I not speaking clearly, or don't you get it? This is, uh, this is some kind of a joke, right? I mean, it's, uh, like an early... Uh, no, this cool is no joke, at, uh... Joshua. <laughs> Buzz and I are husband and wife. But come on, now. You wouldn't do this to us. You couldn't possibly do this. There is no us anymore, bud. Not now, not ever. All right, now look, that that right there is a lie. I mean, I don't know why, but you're 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 lying here. There will always be an us, Reva. You know what? Save always. it for Annie, because she eats that stuff up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to spend some time alone with my husband. Yeah, no. Thanks for I'm stopping. I'm sorry, by. I'm not going anywhere until you come clean. You don't love him. You lie. I have me. been trying to tell you over and over again that it all has been a lie, Joshua. Reva, you all and I of have it. been through hell and back together. I know when you're lying and when you're not. No, lying. you just can't accept the truth. No, you're trying to keep me from seeing the truth. You're like the magician who who tries to get me to look at this hand while I was pulling a, pulling a coin out of that hand over there. But the problem is, I keep looking over here, Reva. I know all of your tricks. I've seen them all. This isn't a trick. Buzz and I are together now, so why don't you go home to Annie? I know what happened at Cross Creek. I set you up. I know what we said. I lied I know to what you, we felt. and I played you for a fool, well, look, Joshua. Now, now, now that she's cleared that up, Buzz, you just leave, Buzz. Um, just tell me what's going on here. Cross Creek was just payback time, Joshua. We buried each other's souls. No, speak for yourself. I cried those big old crocodile tears, and I spewed a bunch of cheap sentiment. And you bought it because underneath that armor of self-righteous pride, you're really just a sucker for cheap romance. 
You can deny what happened until the end of time, Reva, but I know what was in that kiss. Well, I've had a lot of practice. Don't forget what I do for a piece of pie. Don't do this. Get with the program, Joshua. Cross Creek was a joke. This is real life. Buzz and I are married. No, I don't believe you. You love me. I know you do. It would be so easy to say yes, bud, yes, and fall back into your arms. Then do it. And people say I'm a glutton for punishment. Reva, we can make this No, work. Joshua. I'm not going to torture you anymore. Because it would only end up hurting Mara in the end. And that's why I came clean in the first place with all of this. No, there's more to it than that. Boy, you know, I do one nice thing in my entire life, and he won't even give me credit Reba, for it. Reba, you're lying. Not about the children, Joshua. Never. This is all an act. No, it is. Yes, not. it is. It is. Sky there is no way in hell that you would allow Annie to be the mother of our children. You want our children, and you want me. Be honest now, Reva. All of our lives depend on it. Don't worry about Reva. If you want her, really, really want her, you can win her from Josh. You think I can do anything, don't you? You mean you can't? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Where are Hi. Michael, Sorry. Lucy. Lucy and I, we just, uh, well, we sort of lost track of time, if you know uh, what I mean. <clears throat> yes, um, but anyway, congratulations again for this promotion. Oh, well, thanks, Lucy. Yeah, I imagine since you invited us, you're going to be paying. Yes, Ebenezer. You may have whatever you'd like. Hey, <laughs> you seem to be a little uh, feisty to see. Yeah, well, that happens. Anyway, we got a, a postcard today from Nick and Susan. Yes. Oh. To the newlyweds. To the newlyweds. Oh, yeah. Here, here. You know, I think this is the first time since, well, maybe the first time ever that our family feels like a family. Oh. I suppose you're assuming that Alexandra meant what she said at Nick's wedding, that she accepts me and my position at Spalding. Mm -hmm. You think I should trust her? Sure. Sure. Uh, yeah, why not? Really? Probably not. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> well, look, obviously Alex isn't a fan, but you're gonna be an executive vice president soon, and short of locking you in the West Wing or giving you rabies, what can she do? <laughs> no, she's had all of her shots, so I don't think you have to worry about the rabies. <laughs> But I would steer clear of the West Wing if you want your executive vice president. Mm -hmm. Long and laudable. Thank you, Father. I'd like to propose a toast oh, here, to here. my beautiful daughter, Amanda. May you finally get your due. What do you have on Amanda? Chill, Queenie, chill. You're gonna blow my cover. Hawk, I'm warning you. Uh, ladies, uh, that's it for now. My backer and me, we got uh, business to discuss. Uh, high finance, uh, movie mogul stuff. Uh, I'll get together with you all one on one as soon as I'm able. Uh, nighty night. Don't let your agents bite. <laughs> night. Oh, you look tired. Uh, why, why don't we wait and talk in the morning after my massage? Not a chance. You just may not live until morning, Hawk. Oh, good grief. I sound like I'm in some bad movie script. I'm getting bad vibes from you, gal. I met this new age guru. Now, she can cut right through all that tension you've Hawk, got, you know. Amanda Spaulding is about to be named executive vice president in charge of all new acquisitions at Spaulding. I hired you to come here and find out the goods on Amanda, so to stop that from happening. Now, you had better show me right now exactly what you've got. Please, Queenie. I'm a modest man. Oh! All right, all right, all right. I, I, I was just about to ask these brainless beauties about Mandy Harper, a.k.a. Amanda Spaulding, when you came in and then ruined things. I, and here you are. You're spending my money around here like some drunken kind of chic in an obvious attempt. No, may I say, a rather desperate attempt to recapture your perverted youth. Whoa, hey, now, whoa. I never, never once stepped over that line. You know, it's, it's enough to think that you bet any female in the whole state of Oklahoma who was old enough to drive and not wear a cowbell around her neck. Well, some of them gals was full-figured, but... Oh. Well, butter my biscuits. You got the hots for me. We always want to do this. We renovate the attic, make that Ben's room. He's going to enjoy the privacy. Believe me, he won't hear the baby cry. But, it's perfect. Just couldn't we get him a new lock and some earplugs instead? Baby is so lucky to have daddy with sense of humor. <laughs> now, what we need is an architect, a contractor, an interior decorator. Oh. Takes it all out of my hands. That's what I need to get this done. Come on, be with me. Oh. Hey, man. 
remember the words of a former first lady, just say no. Dan, what are you talking about? Ben, Ben, I'm so happy you came home. How would you like to have your very own, very private bedroom loft in the attic? Thanks, but, uh, that's okay. Good boy. See? No sense in changing everything around. Why not? Because Ben knows that uh, the more money we spend on the casa, the less money there's going to be for that car you want to get. Right, son? No, not exactly. Come on, help me here. Work with me. I just don't think you should uh, redo the whole attic just for me. I mean, you want... I might not be around that much to, uh, to use it. You want to explain it to me? I have a chance to go to the Carlton Academy. Oh, isn't that that wonderful boarding school? Yes. Well, that's wonderful. Well, this semester. What do you say? We're going to cut skylights into the attic. We're going to have a state-of-the-art sound system. We're going to get that bathroom of your very own you've always wanted. Dad, Dad. <laughs> what? I'm not kidding. This is for real. Ah, I love when we hold each other. I can hear your heart beating against mine. <laughs> you know, I don't want to smother you, though. I'm just smelling your hair, that's all. No, no, <laughs> I'm, I mean that. When we get married, I don't want to smother you. If you want to go out with the guys, you can. Thank you. I appreciate that. But why well, would I be getting married <laughs> to you if I wanted to be with the guys, huh? I don't know. Maybe you'd want to go out and burp and drink beer, scratch, mock women, you know, stuff like that. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> if I ever get the urge to do any of those things, I'll call you, I promise. <laughs> no, please don't. And uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go see if my people have uh, heard anything about Reva. Good luck. Any word? Where? my house on Old Fields Way. I'm on my way. Hey, give it up. Don't make this any harder on yourself right, than it already all right, is. All right, all right. You, you knew that Mara was upset because of her custody. Well, I can't manage right? to I mean, take no this, for this an answer. Happened. This whole thing is a charade, right? She's telling Reba, the truth. What are you trying to protect Mara from? Mara doesn't need protecting. You don't, you don't want her to have to choose between you and Annie. Is that what's going on here? You think I'm being noble here? Joshua, think again. Who are we talking about? This is Reva Shane the most self-centered woman ever to draw a breath, and that's a direct quote. Ask Carlin, ask Billy, ask Kyle Sampson, for God's sake, they'll vouch for me. I'm so selfish, I want what I want when I want it, and I want Buzz. I knew what I felt in my heart and in my soul. You love me as much as I love you. Let it go. Time can't touch what we have, Reva. Then and now, it's always the same. Just as strong as ever, we are two halves of a whole. We are each other's destiny. We always were, we always will be. You really should Those be were your words her. to me, your words to me on New Year's Eve. Now you tell me. Tell me that they weren't true. Tell me that you didn't mean them. It was a lie, Joshua. I don't love you. Trailer trash sticks it to college boy idiot film at 11. It's good. It's great. You're doing very well. You really have me going here. Yeah, it's... Fun and games are over. I married Buzz. No, no, no. You see, that that that's as big of a lie as you're telling me that you don't love me anymore. You can't be married to Buzz because... We're still married, I guess you forgot. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? Yeah. I did. I, yeah. I forgot okay. about that. What is this? Your copy of our divorce papers, signed, sealed, and very legal. I told you we were through. Uh, this is a copy of the marriage certificate uh, proving that we are Mr. and Mrs. Cooper. This can't be real. No, it's real. Look, it's, uh, 
Santa Domingo's a heck of a place. I mean, you can get split up and reattached all in the same office. Only have to tip one guy. <laughs> He's telling the truth. I mean, the same magistrate who declared me divorced from you declared me married to Buzz. Las Vegas really can't hold a stick to that place. I don't believe any of this. Josh, I, I, I told you we should have had pictures no, taken. No. Of Passport I mean, stamps, you want to see that? Airplane ticket stuff? Yeah, I, I could almost accept this if you told me that you were married to Alan Spaulding, but out of the blue to tell me that you're married to this uh, clown. I mean, you know, oh, no, no offense, way. but... She doesn't seem uh, that way. I mean, I was, I was very entertaining on our wedding night, wasn't what I? What did you it? say? Stop Come it! On. No more fighting. Now, Buzz, you can understand why he's upset. I mean, he settled for Annie, and when he found out he could get me back, well... I'd be upset, too, if I ordered steak and wound up with mutton. How can you be so cruel? You and Alan inspired me. I forgot what it was like to be with the rich boys. You say things with you people never change. Love to you comes with more strings than elevator music. You know, you have to act this way, dress this way, do this, don't do this, think like this. And if you don't, bam, the big boys bail out. You see, I was just forced to return to my more humble beginnings. Yeah, it's funny how when you don't have much money, things are so much simpler. <sighs> He's right. Buzz loves me for me, no qualms, no questions asked. I mean, when we met back in Goshen, he accepted me as Rebecca, and then when I found out I was Reva, he accepted me as Reva. He lets me be me. That's why I kissed him that day in the diner. That's the tape you saw that Alex brought to you at your wedding. I liked him even back then. I liked him even more that night, uh, New Year's Eve, when he rescued me after you left me in a lump on the floor. After Alan had walked out on me, too, you see, Buzz was there. And that's why I married him. Buzz satisfies me in ways that you and Alan never could. So why don't you go home to Annie and leave me alone with my husband? Married or not, you couldn't possibly love him, Reva. But I do. I do love Buzz. If you want me to draw a picture. You listen to me. The only reason I am not strangling you on your turkey cobbler neck is the fact that Johnny Cochran wouldn't be available to defend me. I am here to stop my niece, Amanda, from plunging into the family fortune and not to get it on with you. Understood. Um, which side of bed you want? Sleep alone. No surprise there. But you are welcome to the sofa or the floor. Good night, Hawk. I got one word to say to you, Queenie. Denial will not keep you warm at night. All right, Grandma's run for cover. Coast is clear. The floor is yours. Talk to me. All right. My friend Neil Blackwell, he's the, uh, the captain of the Tennessee McCarthy. Now, one of the guys moved to Spain with his family, and Neil wants me to take his place on the team. Now, I get a partial scholarship to finish out the year, then I go to tennis camp, and then I could just work as a counselor. So this way, I get to work on my game all summer, and I get room and board free. It wouldn't cost you guys a penny. Say something, Dad. Just give me a minute here, will you? No, but Ben... No question, Carlton is first-rate school. Congratulations. But isn't leaving home right now a little sudden? I mean, with a baby coming on and all. Yeah, but how many chances am I going to get to go to a prep school for free? You sure that's what this is really about? Yeah. What else? Beautiful. Why don't you go rearrange your mother's closet yes, into of course. outfits? Thank Good you. idea. I love you, and I love having you here. But no pressure, okay? I don't want to lose you, son. I'd be back for vacations and stuff, and... You know what I mean. I bet, Neil, you'd say no. I didn't say no. Then give me a straight answer, or... I will, if you will. 
What? Do you want to get out of here before your sister comes? I I just don't feel like I feel fit in anymore. You do want out. Yeah, Dad, I do. Enough. I understand how you can feel lost in the shuffle. Holly and I, we've had a lot going on here trying to plan for the baby. I don't want any more quality time or, or more junk for my room. I just want to go to Carlton. You think you're in the way? Well, it's hard living with you guys, okay? I mean, one minute you're happy and, and the next you're bummed. I don't know what to do or say. Well, I'll give you a clue. We don't know what to do or say, either. Look, Holly and I, we, we, we didn't plan on being parents this late in life. Especially with the baby that's bound to have so many problems, and that scares us. It scares us to death. My guess is, is that you're just uncomfortable having parents that aren't just perfect and wise dad it's a little scary for me too i mean i don't know i don't know how to help you guys it's not like i don't want to i i just don't know how I mean, there's nothing you can do there's nothing anyone can do holly and i want to do something we want to fix this but we can't and that's what scares us all we can do is sit and wait and hope for the best you know, my sister's lucky to have you guys for parents. We don't want you to feel like this baby is moving you out of this house. Are you kidding? I can't wait to be a big brother. I mean, having a sister that thinks I'm the greatest? It's too late. Holly and me already think you're the greatest. Let's try this. Carlton gig for just one semester. See if you like it. And then if you do, we'll take it from there. You mean it? I don't know, just, yeah, I, I mean it. Yeah, of course I mean it. Now just go and get out of here. Call that crummy friend of yours. Tell him you lost the bet. So he's going to Carlton. ASAP. Tell me I haven't cost you your son. Getting married on a Ferris wheel? You're kidding. Why? We get on with the minister, we get to the top, and we say our vows. <laughs> Did I also mention that there's a sunset and um, doves are all frolicking around on their way to roost? Yeah, and did I also mention that I'm afraid of heights? Oh, please, since when? Not just since being stuck on the top of a lighthouse with Brent. Brent. I can't think about him without getting mad all over again. I know, I know. Just remember that some good came out of it after all. Yeah, like what? Like we know that we can get through absolutely anything. We call it luck or call it a miracle, but I know every moment I spend with you is a gift. God help me if I take anything that we have for granted. Oh. oh careful. See what you do to me? <laughs> well, hey, I thought we were the only ones that made spectacles of ourselves in public. No, um, that's completely different. That woman's a paid escort. Really? Oh. How do you know? Hey, you have a nice dance? Yes, we did. Where did Father get to? I'm not sure, but my guess would be it has something to do with Reva Shane. Now, 
do you believe I love Buzz? Would you uh, ask your husband to leave so we can talk, please? Uh, I'm not going anywhere. It's okay. I can be here alone with Joshua. Okay. Holler if you need me. Well, you wanted to talk, so talk. I only have one question, Reva. Ask away. I've got nothing to hide. You made me tell you at Cross Creek that I still loved you. I did that, and then I ran away. But I'm not gonna run away this time. I love you. I want you to look me right in the eye and tell me that you don't still love me. Then you hurt me. Then and now it's always the same. You always end up making me feel like trash. You always end up breaking my heart. Like when I let you touch me on Miss Martha's back steps. When I told you what I did for a piece of pie. And when I came to you New Year's Eve and you called me a two-bit temptress who turned into the slut of Springfield. Whatever hope I had, whatever love was left, died. You killed it, Joshua. You did. Oh, you're a little late there, Alan. I think, uh... Yep, Reva's taken. Nice try, Cooper. You'll understand if I dismiss you as insignificant pests as you are. Huh? She's in there with Josh. You're on the outside looking in. Even I get the irony here. Yeah, but what are you doing here? I want you to see what you're doing. Go ahead, do your thing. Barge in. Make a fool of yourself. Again. You're lying. You were about to make your move before I showed up. Oh, you were so smart, Alan. You really are. I should have listened to you. I should have stayed away. I didn't have a chance with it. But you, big guy, you, you could have had it all. All you do is risk it all. But you couldn't do that. So now, she's made her decision. It's over. Okay, guys, I've had it with waiting outside of the honeymoon. Buzz is right. Go home, go back to Annie, go back to the kids, go back and ride the carousel until you puke. Just get out of here, go, now, get out of here, get out of my life. Always is over. Those papers prove it, Joshua. This is wrong, Reva. as wrong as it gets. You nervous, Misty? Yes, Miss Harper. I've never been paid to date a guy before. Well, that's the beauty of working for Mandy Harper Escorts. Your days are free for auditions, and your nights are fun, glamorous, very profitable. The men you'll meet are rich, very powerful, 
certainly well connected. And they'll expect to. Oh, how shall I put this? Bang for the buck? I know you won't disappoint them or me. Now, the key is to get repeat customers. That's where the money is for both of us. What you need to do is make every man you're with feel as if he is the only one who pays for your time and special talents. Now, to do that, try leaning in very close. Look eager. Give him all of your attention as if everything he says is the most fascinating, most stimulating thing you've ever heard. And if that doesn't hook him, my name isn't Mandy Harper. Amanda. <clears throat> Amanda. <laughs> what? You look like you were a million miles away. No, no, I'm, I'm right here. I am right here, and I couldn't be happier. My life is the best it has ever been. Well, and I think everything's gonna get better. Here, here. I'll bring to that. <laughs> Uh, didn't I tell you gals I'd be in touch? I'm sorry to bother you, but I think I left my sunglasses here earlier. You mind if I come in and look? Who am I to refuse a starlet in distress? me millions in wallpaper and fabric and vacuum cleaner bags but no no you didn't cost me a horse son he's going because of the baby no he's going because it's time i mean he's it's time for him to star in his own life instead of just being a supporting player in ours it's just that our baby reminded him that it was time Sounds like a reporter spin to me. Why don't you tell me what you really feel? Well, that's the truth. He's found himself ready to leave the nest and fly off on his own. Maeve, his mother would be so proud. Well, she'd be proud and sad <sighs> to see her little boy grown up so fast. You're gonna miss him. Me too. I already do. But it it's impossible for me to hang on to him and let him go at the same time. Not unless you want a serious case of stretch marks. <laughs> Can't have that, can I? <laughs> no. No, we don't no. want that. No. Oh, well. I lose a son, but I gain a daughter. My beautiful, beautiful baby girl. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Is that you like wonder where these Well, I'm uh, sorry I had to duck out, but... Um, oh, that's all right. Glad to see that my absence didn't dampen the evening. Yeah, I'm glad to have you. You all right, Father? I'm fine, Amanda. Never been better. Listen, what do you say that we all go dancing this evening, huh? Dancing? dancing. What about dinner? <laughs> well, if we can get a bite to eat after you take Amanda and I to the hottest dance place in town. A place where you Generation X go to raid the night away. What do you say? Come on. <laughs> well, I don't know. Cafe Arachnid. <laughs> Let's yeah, go. That sounds good. All right. Uh, I just don't know how much you're really going to like it. Yeah, Dad. You can barely hear yourself think. Perfect. Let me audition now. I always do my best work at night. Yeah, well, I like a gal that's uh, eager to please, and you look like satisfaction waiting to happen. Yeah, the only trouble is I uh, made a previous commitment to, to my backer. Uh, this would not be a good time for you to wow me tonight. So I'll, uh, I'll just uh, get in touch with you in the next couple of days, and uh, you can come back and audition with the rest of the girls. Uh, you understand? As long as you don't forget me. Man, 
Anything can dream, Katie. Hawk, I've been thinking about our situation. Yeah, me too. Uh, I admit, I could have handled things a lot better. No. No, really, it's not your fault. It, I was a fool to, not to see this whole thing coming. I, I forgive you, Queenie, yet. I mean, some, some things just aren't meant to be. Thank you, Hawk, because, you know, in spite of what you may think, I, I really don't enjoy firing you. So what? No, I mean, it was an impossible situation to send you out here to spy on my niece. I, I've just got to cut my losses and fire you. I thought you were sorry for leading me on. Oh, grief. Now who's in denial? Good night, Hawk. No, wait. I... Oh, no, Queenie, wait. No, so, so, no wait. It, it, no, this can't end like this. Oh. I mean, you can't just leave me down and out in the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> really? Why don't you just call Darlene? Maybe she can help you. Oh, out. that sunbaked suck up? Not likely. Mm. No, 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 please. I got. I, I, Give me 24 hours. If I can't get the goods on Mandy Harper, then I'll... I'll quit sleuthing and go back to sponging off Reva. At least that's an honest statement. All right, Hawk. You've got 24 hours and not a minute more. Thank you, Queenie. Mm. My super-duper detective powers tell me that I'm a lot closer to the truth than you think. I think this calls for a celebration, don't you? I mean, Joshua bought my act. He actually left here convinced that I don't love him. I don't know. It was touch and go there for a minute when Mara's name came up. Thanks. Well, it's hard to fool a man as smart as Joshua. I mean, he could smell a lie a mile away, but then I put him off the scent because I mixed the lies in with the truth. Pretty clever, huh? You were amazing. Yeah, I was brilliant, if I do say so myself. And you were good, too. I mean, that bit about Santa Domingo was great. Did you see the expression on Bud's face when you whipped out those marriage papers? Oh, he was hit hard, no doubt about that. Right smack between the eyes. But then that's what I wanted, wasn't it? And I'm a gal who always gets what she wants. the only thing I could do. I mean, the only thing. I mean, my babies deserve to have a happy home, a happy life. And they can have that with Bud and Annie. I mean, thanks. Shane can finally have the only mama he's ever really known. And Mara can love Annie without being worried that she's going to lose her. I mean, I did the right thing, didn't I? Tell me, please, tell me that I did the right thing. You gave up the love of your life for the love of your children. I don't know anybody that could have done that. I mean, I saw it, and I still don't believe it. Pretty unbelievable, huh? You were amazing. I mean, I've lied to him before. I, I have lied to him. This time, I really outdid myself. I really gave him up for good. Oh, my God, what have I done? What have I done? I just... You did what your heart told you But you it hurts. It hurts. It hurts so much. I can't... I had him, and I, and I lost him. <laughs> You got me. You got me. Oh, you got Joshua. me. I'm husband, your friend. I'll get you through this. Joshua. <laughs> <laughs>